Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. <clears throat> I've been a professional psychotherapist for 31 years. Uh, during most of that time, I have specialized in, among other things, working with people who are survivors of early childhood trauma. What I mean by that is parental neglect, abuse, and abandonment. I want to pass on what I've learned during these years and the purpose of this video is to offer you my opinion at least after 30 years of reflection and study on how to understand people who are quote emotionally unavailable unquote. Do you know any people like that? Do you know someone who is judged or labeled as unempathic or uncaring or insensitive? Somebody who uh, avoids intimacy or doesn't know how to deal with it or pretends intimacy but it's not genuine? Do you know anybody who's often or mostly quote in their head, it's very intellectual, has very little feeling content? <clears throat> Do you know anybody who has notably few friends, maybe a few acquaintances, but no real friends? You know the difference between friends and acquaintances. By any chance, do you have these symptoms? If so, I want to offer a compassionate explanation for what's underneath these symptoms. For while these are problems themselves, problem behaviors, they are not the real problem. Um, these pe people with symptoms like these are, in my experience, as a therapist every single time they have been traumatized as young children meaning age roughly zero through five or six often their own parents were psychologically wounded and one or both parents were quote unemotionally available themselves where that's true that is a form of parental abandonment the parents are not emotionally there to provide for their kids' needs. So people who have symptoms like these can be called grown wounded children, GWCs. Because of their childhood trauma, whatever it was, they have acquired two through six psychological wounds. The first keystone wound is a fragmented personality, which causes a whole group of so-called subcells to develop, and their subcells, in order to survive, a growing child's subcells rule their lives. These subcells cause, without intention, um, five additional, up to five additional psychological wounds: excessive shame. I'm a terrible and lovable person. Excessive guilt. I break the rules and I do bad things all the time. Excessive reality distortions, including denial. Wounds? I don't have any wounds. Uh, that's your imagination. Difficulty trusting people or trusting people who are not trustworthy. They also have major or excessive fears. Fear of the unknown, fear of success, fear of failure, fear of fear. Grown wounded children have excessive shame, excessive guilt, excessive fears, excessive trust disorders, and excessive reality distortions. If they have all five of these wounds, they are apt to have a sixth wound, which explains why some people are, quote, emotionally unavailable. The sixth wound is an inability to bond. It's an inability to feel feelings uh, in a normal way, to give and exchange love, to feel and exchange appropriate empathy. And often such people have to pretend what they don't feel because our society values being in touch with your feelings, able to give and receive love. In order to survive socially, such people either deny that they don't feel anything, 
or that they feel very little, or that they're afraid of intimacy, or they pretend to do those things and they come across as insincere, plastic, and phony. Does this make sense to you? It may or may not. I've been studying this for 19 years. I've seen it over and over and over again. <clears throat> so what? If you yourself have symptoms of being, quote, emotionally unavailable, if you have few friends or are in your head frequently or fear intimacy, don't comfortably share details about yourself with other people. You prefer solitude or isolation or you have um, no primary relationship. I urge you on your own behalf and on the sake of any children you may choose to have or care for, study lesson one in my nonprofit educational website. It will tell you valuable information about psychological wounds, what causes them, where they come from, what they are, how to assess for them, and if you have them, what to do about them. You can also study the related uh, YouTube videos to Lesson 1. There are quite a few of them. They will give you an essence of the same thing. Here's the link to those videos. If you know somebody who is, in your judgment, quote, emotionally unavailable, or numb, or over-intellectual, or uncaring, or insensitive, or in their head, uh, or distant, or cold. If you know somebody like that, and you need to relate to them in some way, child or an adult, here is an article that will offer you some practical options for trying to relate within limits to such a person. It starts with understanding their wounds, accepting them, and uh, holding an attitude of compassion and respect for them, not scorn, not hurt, not anger, because they didn't ask for these wounds, they don't know about them, they don't know what to do about them. So, my point here to sum up, if you yourself are feel if you feel are you are or have been labeled as being unresponsive and emotionally unavailable you are probably a grown wounded child through no fault of your own you've inherited psychological wounds and ignorance from your parents who also inherited these from their ancestors if you know somebody like that they are probably a grown wounded child you have options in either one of these cases. I hope you'll follow up on them and expand your awareness. Thanks for watching.